What if you could take eight hours to do something in one day that would free up over 500 hours every year? Would you do it? I spend one to two hours watering the garden every day. Over and over and over. It's so full that I water the garden most of the time. Nonetheless, it's a huge waste of time. Today, I'm installing a drip irrigation system to water the garden. And before I start laying drip line, I have to get water to the garden. I could hook up to an outdoor faucet, but that wouldn't solve one of my other problems, the mess of hoses running through the garden. Those combined with squash vines have made it nearly impossible to mow. I know there's an old water line running from the well that used to supply the neighboring house, and it's right along here somewhere. I'm gonna go with right here, actually. <laughs> I have the parts for the drip system on order, but they aren't here yet. Hopefully they'll be here today. I'm questioning my dousing abilities. Oh, I am hitting something. Now that I figured out where my water line is, I made the obligatory trip to the hardware store and bought my PVC line and fittings. I also picked up this trenching shovel. You're gonna take this saw right here and you're gonna go Oh no! It's a sewage line! It's a sewage line! A few moments later. Okay, now do it on that one. Over the purple. Yep, perfect. Is that going on top of the pipes or inside of it? This will go over it. Let's see what came in our drip line kit. Hey, what do you know? Drip line. Who'd have thunk it? Put your finger in there, Kim. <laughs> now, Hex Maniacs, you know I don't like to start any project without having a highly detailed set of plans, totally to scale, as you can see here. Actually, here's a better look. I've got the main water lines coming in, two spigots, main water line to the drip system, drip lines into each bed, and then I'm going to duplicate that on the other side. While we take a lunch break, I'm going to set out all these lines in the sun so that they can soften up and make them easier to work with. One bellito little. To the trench, winch! After that first trench, my back was screaming, so I enlisted the help of Kim and the girls. And yes, I did try renting a powered trencher, but none were available in my area. We've run into what I knew would be another problem, and that is vines. These vines that I can't mow around, they're actually in the way of us digging these trenches. Kimberly? I, I don't know, I'm conflicted because some of them have food on them. Oh, see, that might be another, that might be a watermelon or a pumpkin, I can't remember. I think it's watermelon. Look at that little baby. I don't want to just be done. There's a pumpkin on it. Look, oh, and it's been eaten. Oh, see? Stinking squash bugs. Like, they say you have a year before the squash bugs find you. Let's take a moment and discuss what makes drip irrigation so amazing. As it turns out, plants, just like people, can be really sensitive. When you water plants from above, it creates what's called leaf wetness period. I wonder how they came up with that name. It's so clever. That's, that's ridiculous. Anywho, it's when a thin layer of water coats the leaf of the plant, allowing disease-causing fungi spores to germinate and infect. The longer the leaves stay wet, the more likely leaf diseases will occur. That's shocking. Drip irrigation systems, on the other hand, minimize contact with leaves, fruit, and or veggies. They save a ton of water because you're not watering all the ground around the plants, you're just putting water exactly where it needs to go. That means it can save you money too. And my personal favorite benefit, it saves the most valuable thing we have, time. I forgot the timer. I made a mistake whenever I dug the trenches out here because actually I wanted this line to be right up beside the bed and I dug my trench out about a foot out, but I think I can still make that work. And what I need you to do is cut this for me, okay? Can you do that? Just cut it, just use your scissor fingers. Nice. What have I done? It came with these pins because you can actually put this above ground 
and probably intended for that, but I'm putting it a couple inches below the ground. I'd like to take this moment to recommend that everybody do this during the fall, not during the middle of summer, because I say, the Lord, it's hot out here. We were picking the things over there and we were wondering what the burnt smell was. And then mom realized there was smoke coming out of this metal bowl that was over there and it was burning the glove while we were picking the weeds and stuff. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Kim and I got the half inch main line run and then it was time to move on to each individual bed. Hole punch, barb, You've got quarter inch drip line and quarter inch solid line here. Don't be an idiot and run the drip line up the side of your bed. Make sure the drip line goes on top and the solid line goes on the outside of the bed. Dang, I just, I just used the emitter line to go up the side and that's gonna drip water. I gotta take those back out. Elbow. That'll go like that. And we connect drip line. Get on it. I was wondering why this was so much tougher now than it was earlier. It's because it's in the shade now. I wondered earlier how much of a difference the sun did it really make it softer. It sure enough did. Have these pins to hold the line in place. And of course this bed right here is going to be easy because it's empty. The other beds not so much. Got a plug for the end. Ooh. Just have to do it two more times in this bed. We're gonna run three in each bed, and then we have to do 18 beds. These other beds are more difficult because they're full of produce. We ready? We're ready. Okay. Big moment. Let's see what it does. I don't know, maybe it, there's like a lot of it. Maybe it all has to fill up before it gets the pressure. Okay then. Maybe I have bad luck when I do water projects. I've got this set on. It's like, is it the timer? I mean, all right. So I guess this is like a flush valve right here. And that's not coming on, so no water. Apparently, this is set to on. Check, I mean, two, two videos in a row where, I, where the water doesn't cut on. 30 minutes, okay. Hey, you hear the water? You hear the water? All right, so apparently I just got an issue like with setting up water features. All right, let's see. Check out that emitter. Let's see if the water starts to flow. extrapolate the time I saved over a lifetime, I just added two years to my life for more important things. <laughs> more than ever, you need to become self-reliant. Check this video out right here, and it'll show you how to grow a ton of food in a teeny weeny space.